Hi guys, it's Milka from HopKiwi.com. Oh, and I'm always saying HopKiwi.com, but probably you don't even know what is that. So uh, HopKiwi.com is my website. I post uh, basically about traveling, about sustainable traveling, and if you care about the planet, I published last year a magazine called Nowhere Else magazine, and there's a first issue, and there's a second issue. And in that magazine, you can basically read um, about sustainability and life and how to you know live to don't and how to travel to don't destroy the planet but in today's video we're gonna talk about something quite interesting i hope so i'm gonna give you five tips on how to find the first job in australia when you are on the working holiday visa or on the student visa for many many people it takes approximately from two weeks up to one month sometimes to two months to find a first job which means that you need to have a lot of money at the beginning to kind of survive without you know working but yeah, let's go to the point because we're just talking, talking about, yeah. So first of all, what you need to do, you need to change your resume. Resume or CV, depend how you call it in your country. The thing is, if you are here on the working holiday visa and let's say you have a master degree, but if you're gonna put that master degree in your resume and say like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a master in this and this, I'm an engineer, and then you're going to be applying for a waitressing they're going to be like, oh, oh, that's perfect that you are an engineer, but what you know about waitressing? Probably nothing. So, you know, sure. So the thing is that actually you need to a little bit probably lower your qualification and maybe don't show your education experience um, unless it's in the field. Uh, but yeah, you need to change your resume according to what you're applying for and if you're gonna be applying for the, I don't know, waitressing or hotel jobs, you need to adjust that resume to what they want and it means that probably you must lie a little bit. I shouldn't probably say out loud, but um, to be honest, I have six or seven different resumes only one of them is my real resume with all my previous job experience that um, that are you know the, the normal jobs that I used to have and with that resume I never get the job here in Australia yeah that's uh, that's a sad story because uh, that resume actually is showing you know my higher qualification and my job experience as a travel consultant and travel guide so what you need to do, you take your resume and you put that you used to work as a waitress or I don't know, you used to work as a housekeeper in the hotel, whatever you're going to be applying for, you need to basically like change your resume. As well, if you are here in Australia for a little while, um, probably it's a good idea to just add some Australian experience. There's a very little chance that they're going to actually, you know, call to your previous employer um, unless uh, you are applying for you know, big companies, like I work for Accor, then I was not lying, obviously, I, I gave them my previous jobs uh, because they were actually calling my previous uh, boss and uh, yeah, so if you are applying for big companies, yeah, be careful because they might check your previous experience, but if you are going to the, you know, restaurant, cafe on the corner of the street, uh, don't worry, just, you know, put their resume that, yeah, 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 you work as a barista, you know, this, 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 this. Um, and yeah, so that would be the first tip, change your resume. Second tip, like I said, the chance that you're gonna get legit jobs are really small. I don't want to, you know, discourage you, but that's the reality. If you are coming here on the working holiday visa, uh, you have basically 99% of chance to work in hospitality. So what I mean hospitality is restaurants, cafes, uh, bars, um, hotels, motels, cleaning jobs and things like this. So what you need to do, basically, uh, there's few options. You can be applying online or websites like, you know, seek.com or LinkedIn, but those are more for professionals. And to be honest, when I was here first on working holiday visa and I was applying on that website, I never get the job. So what I can recommend um, is to just go with your resume, with your CV, directly to the places and just, you know, talk to the people, talk to the manager, ask if they're looking for someone, even if there's no information on the shop or on the restaurant that they're looking for staff, you know, just enter. And my story, my first story when I arrived here and I was looking for a job, it took me 
approximately, I think, three weeks to find a first job. And every single day I was going with my resume for five, six hours in the sun, super hot, on the main streets in Melbourne. And I was going from one restaurant to another with my resume. And yeah, well, finally, after three, three weeks, I found a job. But it's gonna take a time and you need to be ready for that. And along with that second um, tip would be a third tip that, I, you know, they go together. And that is smile. I know that's something probably stupid, but... <laughs> Uh, well, not stupid, but something weird. For me, it was uh, quite uh, quite weird in the way that, you know, I thought that people are going to value more skills. But the truth is, when you are entering to the place and you want to find a job, there's this few seconds, according to the statistics, I think it's like two or three seconds, that people judge you according to how you look like, how your face look like. And if you're going to enter, you're going to be like, Mm, yeah, well, yeah, I'm looking for a job. That's my that's my CV, but I'm very professional. Uh, then probably gonna be, mm, you know, you're gonna be working with people. We want someone more truthful, someone more bubbly. Uh, that's how they call it. You need to be bubbly. Uh, so yeah, you need to enter to the place and be smiling, and you can be like, oh my god, I love that place. It's so amazing. Oh, oh, oh. I would like to work in that place because I just love it, and I don't know, I love selling coffee, so doing coffee, so blah blah blah, or waitressing. Um, and something like that, you know, smile and a really good positive, positive attitude. That's something that's going to sell you really well. The fourth tip would be to contact um, your group of uh, people from your country. For sure, I don't know, for example, I'm from Poland and on Facebook there's a group of uh, Polish people in Australia or Polish people in Melbourne. I don't know if you are from Mexico, I know there's uh, the Mexicans in Melbourne, uh, if you are from Colombia, the same, there's Colombians in Melbourne or in Australia. You can contact that group and, uh, you know, post over there that, oh, you know, you are new to the country, you are looking for a job, any job or you have experience in this, 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 um, if they can help you. And that's something uh, that might be helpful. And the fifth advice, how to find a job, it would be probably something uh, that might be a little bit hard for, for some of you and maybe a little bit weird, but talk to the people. My experience was uh, when I um, first came to Australia, lots of people, strangers, were talking to me. They were just like, oh, hey, because, you know, I was working with the map. I know, old fashioned, but I, I love maps. Uh, so, and the people were, oh, you're new to the country, what are you looking for, are you tourists, blah, 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 what are you doing here, and stuff like this. And that's actually how you can make friends. Not friends, friends, but, you know, you can just, oh, yeah, well, I'm doing this and this. I'm looking for a job or something. The same, uh, very often when I went to the pub, and I used to go alone. I know that sounds quite like alcoholics, but, uh, well, I didn't have friends in the <laughs> beginning. And very often there was people talking to me. Uh, and that's how you can, you know, yeah, yeah, you can introduce yourself, you can say like, oh, yeah, what you're doing. And I know that sounds quite impossible, but sometimes it might happen that the person that is sitting next to you and just start talking to you, and maybe someone, I don't know, an owner of the company or someone who is actually looking for some new staff or someone who knows someone, and that's how you can get the job. Uh, another way how to make friends, and those friends are, might be your, you know, connections to find a job, is coach surfing. And I'm not saying to stay on coach surfing because I, I strongly advise to not stay on the coach surfing. But coach surfing in Australia has a quite a strong community in terms of uh, meetings. So they organize uh, meetings for people from all around the world. For, you know, for Australians, and usually there are meetings in the pubs, in the clubs. Very often those meetings, um, they just revolve around, you know, one topic. Uh, sometimes it may happen that you're going to actually find someone who, um, you know, uh, who works somewhere and can help you again to, um, to find a job. So yeah, that would be the fifth advice, how to find the first job. So just to sum up, uh, change your resume basically lie in your resume. I know that sounds really bad, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm saying from my experience that something basically necessary. All my jobs I've got here in Australia, there were jobs that I've got with a fake resume, which is, you know, 
sad because I really have quite massive experience in in, in a travel um, industry uh, but well maybe one day I'm gonna get the job second go with your resume around give your resume in person to the places the third it's a smile and attitude. Yeah, go with the attitude. Go with, with uh, you know, show the best of you. That's that's quite important uh, because that's how gonna they're gonna judge you. Uh, Fourth, use your connections with uh, you know people from your country. They might be helpful. They might not, but you will not know if you're not gonna try. And the fifth advice is yeah, make connections everywhere. That would be a five advice how to find a first job. In Australia hopefully they are gonna help you they helped me that's I I was basically looking for a job here uh, later on if you have some Australian experience you probably may jump to seek to seek.com it's actually a website for maybe a little bit more professionals or like people that, that you know they already have some kind of experience uh, you can probably jump to that pe that website anyway from the beginning. Why not? You can try. I'm not saying you know to don't go to the website. Um, and, and that's my experience that I couldn't find anything, you know, at first. If you have some different advices as well for all of us, leave the comment below. For sure, that's gonna be very helpful. There's uh, you know over 200 people here, um, so I believe they might find uh, your help very important. And useful so yeah leave the comment if you want to add something uh, from yourself and there's uh, more videos on YouTube about studying in Australia about work and holiday visa there's some more upcoming videos on uh, yeah benefits of studying in Australia or why you shouldn't study in Australia about work experience as well uh, we are gonna be releasing a video soon as well about how to get the driving license because that's something super confusing. I don't know, well, something weird. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be driving license. Um, so yeah, if you find that uh, channel useful, if maybe you think that it can be useful for some of your friends, share with friends, uh, I'm gonna really you know, appreciate that. And that's gonna really help the channel. If you are already here, or if you are thinking to come to Australia, um, maybe you can consider you know, subscribing the channel. But anyway. Um, okay, have a nice day um, and see you next time.